Hi, I have in front of me here a 100 meter VGA over CAT5 sender and uh, this unit is special in terms of it's got a local output as well. So basically what will happen here is you get a VGA output for instance from a laptop or a mini computer and you just run it directly in and what you can do then is you can loop via VGA the output directly to your local PC but what you can do then is you can convert the signal as well to a CAT5 signal, send it over a 100 meter distance and then convert it back via this unit back into um, VGA again. So a few interesting things in this. Uh, it supports sports both video and also audio as well because uh, there's little leads here, 3.5mm uh, audio leads as well. Now the typical application of something like this is where you have something where you uh, have a VGA output on, and you want to run to an output that's maybe quite a distance away. So you could do it via a VGA lead or something like that, but an awful lot of buildings are obviously pre-wired with CAT5, so it'd be fantastic to be able to actually come along here and just run everything through it. And the thing with running a VGA over CAT5, there is no signal loss in terms of the resolution of the picture, etc. It's really, really excellent. I will give a demonstration of that in a few moments time. So the basic format here is, I'm just going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the box, we we'll give a detailed uh, overview of the unit itself and then what we'll do is we'll do a quick demonstration of this actually in operation. So um, we have the outer box here, so it's just a very straightforward one. Um, we have two power units here, they're both coming here with um, uh, three pin plugs and it's a 12 volt 1 amp power unit. So both the transmitter and the receiver unit are being powered. Um, and then we have a VGA lead here and we have an audio lead, so it'll be taking the picture output from our source device with the VGA and the actual audio then would be with the 3.5 millimeter um, connector here. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to come around, we have a user manual and an English thing here as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give an overview of exactly how this would work. So we'll just move the receiver unit over here and I'm just going to start off talking about the transmitter unit. So basically what we'll be doing is we're taking the power unit here and we'll put the power unit in here and so we're powering it and we'll take the VGA lead that's pre-provided here and we'll just take the, the source feed from our laptop, we'll say, run it directly over here and we can just see the input thing here. But you can also hear that we can feed in the, the, the audio input here as well. So both signals are being combined and they're ready to be fed back out, um, to, we'll say, to um, over the CAT5. You'll notice also we have another audio out here put here and this is for the local outputs here. So we'll just rotate this unit around just to show here. So our, our, our options here is if we had a local um, monitor or something we wanted to feed to, we could just feed it directly out here again so we still have an output at our local source. And then we have the options here. There's actually two outputs on it. So in theory what we could actually do is there's only a single extender unit that comes with this, but in theory we can actually feed this to two remote locations. Okay? So um, and this is the CAT5 output here. So we're using we'll say either a pre-terminal LAN cable or we could use a, a, a CAT5 cable and just terminate it and run it in here and this will be running both the audio and the video to the remote location. So if we uh, come along to the far side then, this will be the input side, again we'll add the power unit here. As soon as we add the power the LED light comes on and uh, so it just takes in the feed with the CAT5 and it just splits that signal back out in, into video and audio here. Okay, and just runs it out. So if we come along here and we just look at what we have um, uh, running on the uh, on the setup here, is we have the output coming from the VGA cable here directly in, and also the audio output running here as well. We have a Cat5 cable that runs all the way over here. We have the input here, and what we're going to do then is we will actually come along and we have both. Um, the VGA and also the audio uh, output, which you can run directly to our monitor here, okay? And uh, I, there's just no mouse here now, but we're just going to try to come along here, and I'm just going to try to run this uh, video here, and we'll just press play here. The camera and the power unit just have to connect them up, and it's a So anyway, you can just see here. So you can see from both the video and the thing like this. So, you know, the more common version of this product is where we get, um, we'll say, HDMI and we run it over CAT5. But obviously, VGA is extremely popular as well. So if you can see a scenario, let's say, when you're going to do a presentation, uh, it's all set up, you have your laptop computer, you want to run it directly, and you want to run it straight then into a monitor or a projector or something like that. If you can come along, you can use this system here. 
It's so flexible, it's so easy to use, and the picture and sound quality on it's really, really fantastic. It's part of a wider range of VGA over Cat 5, HDMI over Cat 5s, uh, etc. that we have available on the freetv.ie website.